And folks, we continue to follow updates out of Catalina State Park right now where campers have been stranded due to a flooded wash near the park entrance. Park officials say rangers are now working to keep campers safe and, com and comfortable. As you see, they continue there with front loaders trying to clear a path for those campers to leave. And these stranded campers thought they'd be leaving today and would be able to go home and get out of Catalina State Park. But that has not been the case for hundreds of campers that have been stuck for five days now. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is live at Catalina State Park. And Gabrielle, do you, uh, are they still saying that they think they can get all these people out of the park by the end of the day? Sean, their situation didn't improve by much today. And no, they will not be able to go home tonight. As you can see, there's still a lot of water. And the only way campers are able to get out is if they're driving a big truck straight through the water or they're walking right through the water, just like how I'm doing right now. So the park manager tells me that it's more so that the mud is the problem, making it difficult to drive through. Clearly, people are, are very frustrated about the situation. What was supposed to be a fun vacation has turned into a nightmare. Rainy weather has caused the road to leave Catalina State Park to flood, leaving many people stranded. Some people decided to take a chance and drive through the water as others are walking to get food and other resources as they are running low. We're on our way to go get my heart medication. I thought it would just be a, a, a day or two. Now it's starting to worry me that uh, running out of food, uh, running out of propane, and no clear idea when we might get out of here. So far, this construction vehicle has been shoving dirt and water back and forth in hopes to get the road clear, but that's not working. People tell News 4 Tucson they're upset that nobody else has come to rescue them. No communication. We don't really know what's going on. And, and that a little communication would go a long way. That and from what I see, I mean, the, not against the park ranger, the man in charge, but if you're not really an expert on do what you're doing this move in the water and get somebody get some help and they haven't done that from what we see it seems like this is something that has happened before in the past and where is maybe the funding or the resources being prepared for the inevitable flooding so oh this has been a nightmare for many some people are actually having fun well there's a lot of people um, stranded here so well, we're meeting a lot of friends so it's pretty awesome <laughs> One woman tells me she's already missed four days of work and that is going to impact her financially. The state park is hoping to get everybody out by tomorrow, but that is unknown right now. Reporting live from Catalina State Park, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.